After heroic resistance, Colonel Monroe was forced to surrender Fort Henry to the French general Montcalm. As the English survivors make their way through the forest, they are set upon by Magua, who kidnaps Cora and announces his intention to marry her. Men approaching! They seem to be our forces, sir. I see red uniforms. I quite concur, Sergeant. Have the gates opened at once. These are the survivors of Fort Henry. Yes, sir. Let me get, get away. <clears throat> Colonel Monroe, I do thank the Lord you're safe. Spare me your hypocrisy, Webb. Nothing you can say will make me keep silent. My dear Colonel, your manners. The whole world will know that you went and abandoned us to the wiles of a merciless enemy. To whom you surrendered without opposing the least resistance. And what else should I have done, pray? Allow them all to die? Soldiers, women, civilians? And for what Ooh. reason? So that you could stay bottled up here in safety without wasting Ooh. even a single soldier for us. Military campaigns are not waged through sentiment, Monroe. The decisions of a commanding officer are often difficult, but always necessary. In any case, I was perfectly aware that General Montcalm would be benevolent. Uh. He's a gentleman like us. No, a gentleman like you. One who uh. turned his back while his Indian uh. beasts hacked us to pieces. I saw my men fall by the dozens, <laughs> entire families massacred and scalped. And my youngest daughter kidnapped by those animals. <laughs> 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 It is clear to see that these sad events have unhinged our good colonel. It would be a kindly gesture to relieve him of his duties. Don't bother! I am no longer your good colonel, and you are no longer my commanding officer. Is that quite clear? <laughs> Magua home. <laughs> you eat it and may it poison you. Magua not worry. 
You not eat today, you eat tomorrow. I shouldn't count on it, Mr. Magua. I'll starve to death rather than follow you. Magua not think so. Black hairs love too much life. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Missy, yeah! <laughs> 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 Now you eat. It's done, Papa. Now will you tell me what you intend to do? I've asked Major Duncan to intercede with General Webb on our behalf. Intercede, Papa? I need soldiers to help me rescue Cora. <sighs> Colonel, sir, <gasps> I've managed to convince him. Ah, excellent. And how many men is he giving us? Uh, not many. A platoon and two horses for us. Huh? A platoon will do fine. Thirty determined men are worth far more than a whole regiment of idlers. What nonsense! Three men could do the job if they're the right ones. Mm. I refer to the men who saved us. Hmm. You mean that cowardly renegade and his savage friends? But, Papa! I'd sell my soul to the <gasps> devil rather than ask for help from that revolting human scum! Really? How can such a thought even occur to you? I will not be spoken to like that. I am not some silly little chit useful for nothing but the ballroom. I survived uh. more perils out there in the forest than you have, Major Duncan. I'm an expert. Mm. Mm. Very well, my dear. I do appreciate your intentions. But now we must be going. My dearest. Oh. <gasps> hmm. <sighs> Well, Miss Alice, what are we waiting for? Professor, to what do you refer, pray tell? Well, I would say that patently we have no other choice. Your sister is in the clutches of an ignoble march. individual, and your father is undertaking a rescue mission that is doomed to failure. What we clearly must do is go ask ah. those three valorous gentlemen for their help once again. Ah, Professor, would you really go with me to seek them out? And with all convenient dispatch. Professor, <laughs> ah, you are an absolutely adorable little <laughs> snuggle bunny. Ah, oh, this is the life. Mm, there's nothing better for body or for soul than a good steam bath. Glad to hear from that hunter yesterday. Port Henry was handed over to the French with no fuss or trouble. The girls are probably all safe and sound in Fort Edward by now. I'd like to see their father's face. I bet that defeat took a little cockiness out of him. But why should I bother talking about it? It's all part of the past. Nothing is past, my son. Neither for you, nor for Uncas. Uncas! Oh, my dear chap! What is it? Cora was carried off by Magua. We must rescue her! I wonder what Uncas bagged. I'm going mad with hunger. Hmm? Ah, there he is. Uncas! Where are you? Hmm? 
Gonzalez. Yes, it is I. I am terribly sorry to bother you, but I'm afraid I'm going to need your help. I'm afraid you've got it wrong. We're no longer those three feckless idiots who are always ready to jump to the service of the Monroe family, only to be cast aside like a soiled glove later. Or even worse, condemned to be hanged by the neck until dead, which is what your father wanted. My father was wrong about everything, from the start, and I've suffered for it. Well, if that's meant as an apology, I accept it. The road back to Fort Edward is behind you. Cora's been kidnapped by the Hurons. <laughs> I'm really very sorry, but unfortunately I'm no longer active in the knight errant business. Well, what are you waiting for? Hold on there. Give a fellow a chance to get dressed at least, will you? We make camp here. Would you gather some wood, Professor? Of course, my dear fellow. If the massacre took place in that clearing, then the Hurons must have headed to the east to make their escape. And then they turned back to the northwest, right toward their territory. If we ford the Kauna River, we'll be able to cut them off here. I'm thirsty. Uncas, hmm. will you go get me some water from the stream? Hmm. <clears throat> well, I think I'll take a look around and then turn in. Yes. We can turn off the alarm. There was only one, at least for now, an mm. Oneida. You're right. They are a northern tribe member of the Iroquois Nation, are they not? That's right. And it's very strange to see them around these parts. It can mean only one thing. What's that? They've decided to join the war, and on the side of the French. Hekwatana! We can't stay oh. here a minute longer. The only way we can avoid them is by keeping on the move. Mm. It is from last night. The Oneida? No. When the Indians pass by, they leave no markings. This was a camp of Europeans, and not very forest-wise at that. About 30 men, soldiers. It must be my father's platoon. Yeah, 
Thirty idiots making more noise than thirty buffalo. The Onedas are sure to ambush them. <gasps> Hurry! Run as fast as you can! We must immediately return to the site of the massacre, find which direction the Hurons took and follow them. How will we do that, sir? We have some canny veterans among us. I'm sure they'll make first-rate guides. But you're the clumsiest oafers ever was. Forward! Take cover, close ranks, return fire! Into the woods, quickly, all of you! We must find a defensible position in which we can regroup. Yes, we must regroup. Hey! Hey! No wait for me! Everyone onto the Iot! Positions, prepare to fire! Bring the beggars down! Fire! Uh, Damnation! If only they had come out more into the open! Nonsense! They want being kept at the proper distance, and now we can do it easily! Uh. Fire at will! Kill them all! <laughs> Oh, my good lord! We're surrounded, Colonel, sir! Fall, men, with me! Hurry! Into position! It looks like we're for it, Colonel. I'm afraid you're right, Duncan. This time there's no chance for us. I believe those are! Load faster! There! I never would have believed it! All of you! Retreat! I'd rather die than be rescued by him. I know you'll avenge them, sir. It's not over yet. Yes, Duncan, you're quite right. Thank you. 
My poor men. My poor, poor men. Oh, for heaven's sake, you owe it to Cora not to die. Uh -huh. Who seem to be doing a bit of harm. Well done. You were simply magnificent. Mm. Well, it's just for little things like that that you keep me on call, don't you? Uh, mm. Worthless scoundrels, after all, are they, Papa? Life is really strange, isn't it, Colonel? You wanted to see me a corpse, and I wind up saving your life. No one asked you to do so. Wrong as usual, Monroe. Your daughter practically begged on her knees. Now I'm sorry I agreed to help. Mm. I say, cheer up, my dear Miss Alice. We still have a rough road indeed ahead of us, but saving your sister is worth any sacrifice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 